Hi, I'm Joe from Wacom. I'm going to introduce you to Corel Painter Essentials that came with your tablet. This is a fun software application that will whet your appetite for creative expression. When working with software like this, I always close as many other programs as possible. Graphic applications take more resources than most, so having more computer RAM and hard drive space available helps with the performance of the system and the software. If you haven't already installed Painter Essentials, you may want to do so now from the bundle DVD so that you can follow along. To open Painter Essentials on a PC, go to Start, All Programs, Corel Painter Essentials. On a Mac, click anywhere on your desktop to get back to Finder, then go to the Go menu and choose Applications. In Applications, you should find Painter Essentials. Once the program opens, you're greeted by a welcome screen, which makes it easy for you to get started. You'll see three options. Start a drawing and painting, which creates a blank canvas and lets you start from scratch. Start a photo painting, which gives you an easy way to convert your existing photos to paintings. And open an existing file, which lets you pick up where you left off on a previous drawing or painting. Below these three options, you'll see what to me is most valuable, a prompt for watch videos which gives you quick and easy access to 14 different videos on getting started with Painter Essentials and how to take full advantage of the tablet while drawing or transforming your photos to another art form. You'll also see Explore Guidebook, which contains step-by-step -step instructions on how to do just about anything in Painter Essentials. Both of these learning tools are always available from the Help menu once you're in the program. Help also has a very powerful search tool that allows you to easily find answers to almost all your questions. Now let's get cracking. I'd like to create something new, so I'll click Start a Drawing and Painting. Painter Essentials asks you to define the size of your canvas. Don't let this intimidate you. You're the boss. Painter Essentials defaults to pixels, but most of us work in inches and centimeters, so correct this right away. I'll choose a fairly standard 8 by 10 inch canvas. Next, Let's look at resolution size. Resolution defines the quality of your image, putting more pixels into each square inch. But the downside of maximizing resolution is that you'll put stress on your computer, which will slow it down. I'm going to start with a resolution of 100, knowing I can always adjust this later if I want. You can also change the paper color, which is a snazzy way of saying change the background color. But I'm going to leave mine white and just click OK. Ah. Welcome to Painter Essentials. We're in. Now you see your canvas or drawing area. Along the left side, you have a set of tools and their subsets, which you can access by selecting the arrow next to the toolbar. As you can see, you have no shortage of brushes. By hovering over each tab, you see you have thick, thin, and watercolor brushes. You also have pencils, chalk, smudge, effects, and photo. Play around with each of these and find a brush that gives you the effects you're looking for. Notice that as you use brushes, they appear in the quick selection list, so you'll have easy access in the future to your recent brushes. Working down the toolbar, you'll find a whole list of tools that you'll use to create your images. To really learn more about each one, find its name by hovering over it and using the Help's Search feature to get more information on the tool and how to use it. To work with colors, you're given a number of tools. Most simply, you can just select the color you want to use. Or use the mixer, which works just like mixing paints the old-fashioned way. The color wheel lets you select the color by tapping or dragging in the ring, select the shade and the darkness lightness by moving the circle around in the triangle. Each time you select a color, it will become your current working color which will be visible down here in the lower left. Painter Essentials also has layers, which allow you to overlay one on top of another to produce a desired effect. The real power of layers is your ability to turn them on and off, something you can't do when layering paint on traditional media. You'll want to play around with layers. There's a lot you can do with them, and I would recommend using help to provide extensive information on them. So, if you're working on your own creation, have fun with these tools. When you're ready, you can save the file and close it by going to File menu and choosing Save. Here, you're prompted to input a file name and indicate where you want to save it. 
Take note of your file location so that you can come back and open it later by choosing Open an Existing Image from your welcome screen. I also want to introduce you to photo painting, which allows you to add illustrative effects to your personal photos. To get here, you don't have to close the program to get back to the welcome screen. You can go to, yeah, you guessed it, Help and choose Welcome. Now select Photo Painting. Painter Essentials will prompt you for a location and name of the photo you want to paint. Go ahead and select one from your computer and click Open. The interface here looks like the prior one, except that you are now on the Photo Painting tab, which has a number of options we've never seen before. To see through tracing paper, check the Tracing Paper box in the Source Image area. You can also change the opacity, which allows you to see more or less of the drawing compared to the photo. Painter Essentials provides an Auto Paint option, which you can try by clicking the Start button. You'd be amazed at how well it does on its own, but it's much more fun to paint your images with your tablet. Using the brush tools we explored earlier, find the texture you like and start painting in the detail. For the most part, I'll start with larger, less detailed brushes, and then as I want to accentuate my subject matter, I'll paint in more detail with smaller brushes, using the slider to decrease my brush size. For more on this, check out the video, Photo Painting by Hand, included in the Watch Videos section of the Welcome menu. I hope this short video has piqued your interest in the great software you received with your tablet, and that you dig into the very robust help in Painter Essentials to learn more. If you have any tablet-related technical or customer care questions, visit us at Wacom.com.